Do you have back pain? Ow. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it right now. Yay! It's Dr. David Gramling, and I wanna talk about how we can help you relieve your back pain right now, instantly. So let's go ahead and jump in. A little about me, I've worked with pain patients for almost 10 years. I've helped hundreds of patients get out of back pain completely, and just about every patient I've seen has experienced quite a bit of relief. So I have a good track record dealing with back pain through yoga, and I've over time become known as the yoga doctor. What? So I hope that some of the suggestions I have can be helpful for you. My fingers are crossed and I'm very optimistic. That said, I always recommend doing your own research and teaming up with a professional in your area. Reach out to me if necessary, but do your best to find out the information that's gonna work for you. So let's talk about back pain and how yoga can relieve it. Yoga is going to help open up your body in these hard to reach regions where back pain is essentially being trapped from blood flow and oxygen. Think of your body like a well operating machine. And in this machine, blood and oxygen flow through. And when there's some sort of blockage, that blood and oxygen is stopped. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is find ways to increase the flow of blood and oxygen to specific areas of the body that are most likely to have pain. So some of these postures are gonna be really beneficial for you to have an eye to look at what your body should be opening up to where you can allow for this blood and oxygen, okay? One thing you're gonna to wanna to be mindful of is how to breathe. <sighs> Inhale in through a thick straw. Size of your index finger is a great length. Breath in. Relax in the shoulders. Exhale. As you breathe out, I like to breathe out through the mouth as if I'm blowing out through a donut hole. A glazed donut with the donut hole, blow out nice and round through the donut hole. Inhale in again. Thick straw like a thick milkshake. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Blow out as you're blowing out through a donut hole. Breathing like this has two different types of effects, as well as more, but we're discussed two. First, it's a cooling breath. It's a calming breath, and it's a way to get to a meditative state. That's going to help your pain receptors in the midst of a panic attack or some sort of pain flare. On the other hand, Breathing like that is susceptible for getting deep breaths to those hard to reach regions. We're talking about breathing in for two, inhaling one, two, exhaling for four. Relax your shoulders, exhale. One, two, three, four. Deep breaths like that can really allow your body to flush oxygen through. Sometimes it can be hard to do those types of breaths, so don't be surprised if you have to build up to it. And soon you'll be able to do two and four three and six, and even four and eight. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into the asanas, these postures that you're gonna put your body in. This is gonna be a, a form of yoga called restorative, very peaceful where you go limp and passive into the postures. This makes it really easy for your body to get adjusted and peaceful and relaxed while experiencing a pain flare. So do your best to get comfortable and let's go. With back pain, you can really focus on a couple of different postures to help it out. Try butterfly, supported with props, and child's pose. Try to warm up at least a good 10 to 15 minutes before you partake in any advanced yoga position, except if you're doing restorative. With restorative, you have a little bit more leeway, though I recommend warming up before the tougher positions. This is an example of butterfly. You'll notice my legs have come out to the sides. I'm relaxed, I'm supported. This is a great position to warm up your body to. This also is very good for back pain and it's very good for sciatica pain as well. You don't need loose hamstrings for this. You can actually do it after eating. It will aid digestion, particularly if you're sitting up. This is also safe for all three trimesters. They'll check with your local doctor if you're pregnant when you participate in yoga. This is child's pose. This is a very good pose for low back pain. Go ahead and bring your seat back, relax and drop your head. This is a great way to take those deep breaths in. And as you exhale, relieve the pressure in your low back, also the thoracic and cervical spine, 
are going to soften around the soft tissue muscles as well. Stay here as long as you can with comfort, 5, 10, 15 minutes, even 40 to an hour if you can. Breath in, breath out. This is child's pose. Remember, when you do restorative yoga, you're gonna focus on the deep breaths. Let the deep breaths be a main part and function of your restorative yoga. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more content on back pain relief.